listen to a young girl who was saying that the African community here is totally very angry. So be very interested in this point at your dancer. Good day, thank you very much for talking to people, places and events and to the African Center for Community and Development. What is your name, sir? Um, I'm You are gathered here to talk about football in Cameroon under the banner of Cameroon Footballers yeah. Union. Yeah. And thank you very much for talking to this program. Thank you. What is your name, sir? My name is Mokim Banda. Thank you very much for talking to people, places and events. What is your name, sir? I'm Bechem Pika Kanyi. Okay. What is your name, sir? I'm Diba Augusti. Okay. Good morning. Thank you very much for talking to people, places, and events. What is your name, sir? Kiel Sili Asam. Good morning, sir. Good morning. What is your name, sir? Kanyi from Joseph. Okay. You are a footballer. You were a footballer. And you played with which teams? I played with Victoria Stars, which was in Division 3. I brought it up to Division 2. And in Division 2, we played for two years and we brought it, we made it with the other three Liberty teams to bring up the, the Victoria United team, which is now called Opopo. 1973, yeah. Good day, sir. Thank you very much for talking to people, places, and events. And to the African Centre for Community and Development. What are your names, sir? Uh, I'm called Enoquequa Jacob. And you were a footballer in which teams in yeah. Cameroon? Yeah, I've been, I've been a footballer first in Tico United, secondly Victoria United, and so many, Alex Paul, Pido de Bananda, so many clubs in Cameroon. And sir, you played with Sonara Club and Alex Paul. Uh, what can you tell me about your days as a footballer? Uh, we started playing uh, with Sonara from the third division, brought the team up uh, to the second division. Then, uh, due to the, the program, the occupation in the refinery uh, plan, we could not. Uh, continue to play for uh, the competition and the team dropped after two years. Okay. Then, uh, after I've been playing with uh, Kamak, Kamak Limbe, then after Kamak, I went to uh, Victoria United. After Victoria United, I went to Top Kazam, Tengere. <laughs> okay, Mr. Ndiva, can you give me um, a brief history of your football career? Yes, I will try it. I'm sorry, I started with a uh, uh, simple winner's Victoria, 1958. At that time, there was there was nothing like a leg ball, 
No PDID, no Hadole, simple winners and were latest wanderers in Victoria here. So, I played, and I left, uh, joined the TikTok wanderers in Chico. After TikTok wanderers in 1960, I, started, I came to uh, Victoria in 1960, uh, 1964, then 65. We then in Victoria and played until we got to first division 1972, dropped. Then in 1973, we started uh, the SD Ongole, merged the three teams, Victoria Stars. Piroidi, uh, Piroidi and uh, Pressbook made them together and they, we built Opopo, which is called Victoria United. There I played until when my children grew up. I felt that not to play against my children. I left them, went to Kamaglimbe, started. Uh, Took Kamalimbe from third division to second division. Then I left football. I didn't want to play against my my own children. I can I can hit hard. <laughs> so, so that is my. Thank you for that brief history. And Mr. Peche. Yes, thank you. I I played for Junior Kamak in Kumba. From there, I went to I played with the Kumbi Bypass, second division. From there. Uh, one legend that I admire most, Manga Labinda of Leeds, brought me to uh, Lexpo of Limbe because he was going to, to Unamu of Guala that year. So I played for Lexpo, and uh, after Lexpo, I went to school to, in Bamenda, where I played for Kamak Bamenda two years in first division. And, uh, I just, and uh, I got some uh, invitations for the Junior National Team. So, that's the career. Thank you for that brief history. The rich one, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My name is Mukin Banda. Yes. I started football, played with the OCB the Kumba, when Mr. Pashombe was the manager of OCB. So I carried the club to second division. After that, I left, I went to Chico United. From the, I, play, I played with Tico United for good six years. I went to Peter Kumba. I played for Peter Kumba for four good years. So I went to I went to to New Padwala. I played there for one year because of inner problem. So I came back to Peter Kumba. So from Peter Kumba, I played there for a year. I went straight to Bamenda, where I played 11 years in the first division. Wow! Congratulations. Yeah. From there, I ended my football. I never went anywhere. Yeah, no, sorry. I was called for Espoir. Sorry, Espoir, the national team. So I went there. Yes. yes. So from there, I came back to Peter Bamenda when I went for Espoir. I never played football again. I ended my football career in 1993. Okay. Three years after the expedition yeah. at the World Cup yes. with Roger Miller and the rest. And Mr. Njia, yeah, um, can you tell me something about your football career? Yes, I started uh, in Moyuka while schooling with Bokas Moyuka. After three years of schooling with Bokas Moyuka, I had to join uh, uh, Moyuka Heroes. I, worked, I played with Moyuka Heroes for one season and later went to Ekona Research. That was when I played for about two, years, two seasons. Then within a certain semi-finals with uh, Victoria United, I scored a, a terrible goal. <laughs> <laughs> and I was being selected by the executive of Alex Pauline. So that same year, I had to join. I came here, we met in Limbe, and I started training with Alex Paul. We trained and I started playing with them for, since 1980. And uh, within three years, I was selected to play with the junior national team. I played with the junior national team for about two years. And the former Antipa Ken Victor, Bumbo Emil, Kanabik, and the rest. And around 1987, I had to retire because 
while I prepare, I was preparing to go for an expedition abroad with FC Hamburg, I sustained an injury at comprehensive field. So my career just ended there. But for now, I'm playing with D0, which is a result the veteran football. That is why we are joined here today. So, What can you tell me about the football of your time and what is your analysis of football today? Yeah, thank you for that uh, question. First of all, I will first thank this forum for making me to be available because since we left football, we haven't got any association that brings us, bring us together. So I'm very, very thankful for this, for today, that I've made a chance to be here. So, coming to your question, the football today, I think to compare with our, with our own football that we play, the football of today is, uh, is made with uh, young talent. And uh, the football today is uh, really, really based on financial side. Because for our own, when we were playing football, I think we didn't have any finance. Uh, we were just playing football for pleasure and for hobby and work to life. But for today, you see, any small guy who is up is only focusing his intention to let me play and have so much money. And so you see the football today, uh, for me, I'm saying that it brings too much politics inside because of finance. Because when you play, you earn money. When you don't play, you don't earn money. But whereas in our own time, you play or you don't play, but so far as you are playing, you play for play, you play for the crowd. So that is a big difference that I'm seeing. Thank you so far. Um, Mr. Joseph, uh, can you tell me something about um, your history of playing football and then you zoom it as to today, uh, what is happening and how your organization can foster hope in Cameroon in terms of football? Yes, thank you very much. In our days, we played and we have retired. But today, we still like football and we like to pass our experiences to the young people who are playing now. For example, I was a goalkeeper. Up to this present moment, there are things that I know that boys of now don't know, and I wish to teach them, and there is no means. And that, that, that intelligence can reach them only through this forum that we have made like this. Because if I have a, the chance to meet with a team, I take one, one goalkeeper, I'll tell him some secrets that I have seen that there are realities that they don't know today. Now, before we come back to talk about Cameroon Footballers Union, I will be going back to history. As a goalkeeper, can you tell me some of the strikers that you were like wary of, that you were afraid of? Well, like a goalkeeper, I've never been afraid of any striker. Like, like here in Dimbe, that we were interviewing me, I had one strong uh, attacker in Dimbe who was called Bumbo Ibrahim. <laughs> okay. Yes, he used to always tell me, we used to argue. I always, I always tell him that when I'm playing against you, don't know that that day they always say you score in every match, but that day you not score me. So we'll argue until I'll make, I'll put up my strategy that he will not score when we are playing. But he too was telling me that no, I will score because I know what to do, which is yeah, weak point, and I've, I've come that weak point, so I must score. So when we were playing, I was, I was either trying to keep my. This that I made that he will not score. He was trying to keep his own that to he will score. So who succeeded? Finally, in most of the cases, I I I, I don't think I don't think I won him. I too didn't win me. <laughs> because some sometimes he scored and sometimes he didn't score. Now maybe let me ask you some names that come to mind that probably played at the same time with you. Maybe like not in the same team, but maybe in the same generation. Yeah. Like Mute, Nguet. They were playing in Alexpo, I guess. So what is your impression about them? Yeah, they, they were good players, all the same, but I, I was never afraid of them. They were good players, but I, never, I was never afraid of them because I, for one, have never been afraid of any attacker. Thank I you. think that the only time that I was afraid of players was when I started football, still in Division 3. When we came up to Division 2, I was afraid of people like the late Jumas, uh, Wunkem, and all those players because I was feeling that they were already old players who had played and they had some experience that I don't have, so I was afraid of them. And they were using their own type of to intimidate me.
by treating me one will just come to feed they'll just they can take a certain warm up around me that will frighten me and I'll be I'll be weak. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and goalkeeper Jacob, you've caught in many teams. Um, which are the memories that are very strong in your mind in terms of like players that you met, attackers, midfielders? What are the players that stood stood very tall in your generation? Yeah, uh, thank you for that. Yeah, you know, during my period, I encountered so many attackers, so many midfielders, but I was standing tall because before you, an attacker or a midfielder, you want to score me. You know, they always call me Black Spider. Yeah, because I can recall, we played one match in Manfred in my own hometown. And at halftime, they stopped the match. At halftime, they stopped the match and they said that they should charge, they should shed and search me that I'm wearing a uh, 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 emotion because the performance that Gregory, I performed. A chain, a chain for magic. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so they came, they, they saw nothing because that time you have a. Uh, Ayokeba, former Ayokeba in Mante, yeah, to have top players. So, people have played with uh, even Roger Miller. When I was in Chico, we played, we played the Cup of Cameroon in, ba in Bafusa. They defeated us uh, uh, two, two goals to, to one. I was the goalkeeper. And those two goals that Miller scored, it was only because Miller was experienced more than me. At that time, yes, if not so, we could not even have scored. I played against Tumaswa uh, 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 in Southwest. People like this very Bobo Ibrahim. I played with them. I played with Tostao in the last one with in Tiku. I played with so many players that they even see me and they are afraid because to score me was a very very. It, it, yes, it was a very, very hard task. Even in penalties. When they come to penalties, they say, ah, Victoria United has won. Because out of five, I will catch four. So, but uh, many people think you were meditating in the field. Was the meditation a way of frightening the, the attackers, or was there a reason? Yeah, you know, during our time, you know, like during our time, they call it down our own time. Yes. I, Personally, I have a strategy because first, my let me say my 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 own magic was training. I was training three times a day, heavily. In the morning, I do 14. In the afternoon, I do small uh, uh, put it in, the, in, the, in, the, in my compound, and then in the evening, I go for general training. So I was training and I was focusing that I will be tomorrow. I will be a professional. So that that was what. I really am. I didn't have any gambi. It was just that I was determined to play football and to become a hero. So you just got that from the hostage. Yes. So, uh, so 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 during like during matches, I have something that I make even attackers to fear and to suspect that I have magic. It was only my that is we call it a chauffeur man. When I do my a chauffeur man, everybody came all right. <laughs> and sir. Could you recall some of the players that were excellent during your time of, of playing football? Yeah, bon, je ne peux pas tous me rappeler. Moi, j'étais euh, défenseur. Donc, à l'époque, on appelait le numéro défenseur central. Donc, euh, j'étais le dernier rempart. Donc, euh, j'avais. Euh, J'ai eu à, à jouer avec de très bons euh, défenseurs. Bon avec de très bons gardiens, parmi lesquels euh, tout à l'époque, <rire> à côté. Et je me rappelle quand même que euh, nous n'avions jamais été battus en plus de deux buts de quart lorsque j'assurais la défense. Donc c'était une chose de mental ou bien c'était euh, euh, votre vision de football Bon, disons que les fois j'ai joué beaucoup plus par plaisir. Parce que euh, bon, je n'ai pas pu jouer euh, à l'école, parce que je voulais d'abord finir euh, euh, les études et pouvoir 
jouer au football. Après les études, c'était aussi pour le travail. Le travail prenait déjà beaucoup de mon temps. Malgré ça, je jouais au football en seconde position. C'était vraiment un plaisir pour moi de jouer après le travail et pendant le week-end. Okay. Voilà. Donc c'était vraiment un plaisir. Comme a dit euh, Jacob tout à l'heure, nous ne jouions pas pour les sous. Encore qu'il n'y en avait pas. Donc c'était un plaisir de, 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 de porter le maillot des clubs, de défendre les couleurs du Et d'être vu le dimanche. Mais est-ce que c'est possible à retourner à cet état de choses dans, euh, dans votre perception Est-ce que c'est est -ce est possible Bon, si j'avais à refaire. Peut-être que je changerai de, de casquette, puisque aujourd'hui, on peut gagner sa vie euh, au football. Hein? Aujourd'hui, les enfants, les parents euh, cherchent à envoyer euh, leurs enfants dans des, des, des écoles de football. Parce qu'aujourd'hui, les choses ont changé. Le football, c'est déjà euh, chacun peut faire sa vie à partir du football. Fonder une famille et avoir des enfants. Avec le football comme emploi. Alors les choses ne sont plus comme euh, avant. C'est pour ça que j'encourage en tant que parent. Je ne peux plus être euh, ceux qui vont euh, interdire aux enfants de jouer au football. C'est plutôt contraire. Si votre enfant, euh, vous voyez qu'il est intéressé et qu'il est bon, autant l'orienter vers euh, cette pratique du football. On ne sait jamais. <rire> And Mr. Ndiba, uh, who are the players that you can recall who were very dynamic in terms of um, playing and during your old days? Oh, I like that question. Uh, or oh, that statement. Uh, you see, I can recall people like uh, Mr. Pacha, the former commissioner of police in Boya. He played in tip top, was played with nine shirt, while I was at the defense, beating hard. Then, uh, Played with people like uh, Mr. Olu, late Olu, and then with the simple win at Victoria, he was playing the offside left while I was playing the midfield. So, you see, I'm, I've even forgotten more, most of these my, my old uh, players. Uh, did you play so football like with Mr. Ayon, uh, who was working at Sonel? Uh, no, I played for Peter Ayon. Ayon was for Power Cup. Did you play against him? Yes, of course. What is your impression about his, um, his no, football? No, he was a good uh, footballer. And what helped him most was because he was a sprinter. Yeah, he don't, he, he, when we are playing, when he had Peter Power Cup, I look for Ayon. On that day, I must play defense. Because we play, you know, in those days, we play football, or I played football, according to the team I am going to meet. Because I was polyvalent, I was playing all over the field. I started even at the pole, I think 48. I was a goalkeeper at that time. But just because a match was played with CDC, somebody picked the goalkeeper, all the, 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 he lost all the team. So my father asked me not to play, not to be a goalkeeper again if I want to play ball. So I left and started in front. So along the 10 wings in the field, I play, I play all. All right. Yes. And Mr. Vichem, who are you afraid of? <laughs> I think it will be an overstatement if I say I was afraid of you. Okay. <laughs> uh, an attack bet, I did respect them. People. Players like Mbombo Ibrahim, Dabi Kassara, uh, Oman Bini, uh, Ashu James. What about um, uh, Ayok Manga? Ayok Manga, these are some of uh, the yeah. prominent attackers who, when I'm in front of them, I had, or when I, I, I was going to play against them, I prepared uh, even more, even double. So, okay. that's it. And say, do you yeah. have some people you are uh, kind of like jittery when they come across you? Yeah, the only player that I had in the field of play was Roger Miller. Roger Miller can create a situation that you doubt it. He can create many, many situations when football is concerned in that attack line. He was the call, we call him Maestro, who gave, him, gave his name Gaddafi. He was wonderful. He's a legend. 
That's what I can say. It's a very good player. That I always meet in the field. I was, in fact, we hardly attack him. But we try to... You yeah. were playing in what position? I was playing defense. Three position. All right. Okay. And sir, who are you kind of like... Well, for me, I don't know. I, I, you know, as a defender, I always saw my first shirt and I knew I would meet the attackers. I hadn't any particular attacker, but I could recall that uh, I had attackers like Morgan of Chico United. I had uh, Surubai of Antangande that I met once. Uh, I had again uh, Kumba, Kamalimbe, uh, Kamakumba, Power. That was a small young man who was never afraid of a defense man. We were people who kicked all with flies. Anything that passed in, in front of us, we kicked. But these very attackers gave us a lot of tough times. <laughs> and within 90 minutes, we knew when you leave the field, you know you've played against a team because of those attackers. So these are so many people that were met. And when I went to the national team, I met a, a, an attacker too, like a, a, a Oman B. Oman B. Yes. He could jump twice your height. So these are people you play with the hands in order to grab him to calm down. Just, just like what he did in um, the match between Cameroon and, and Argentina. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, when we started that young in the junior national team, we started seeing how a, an attacker like Oman B could do many things. So these are players I came across and, uh, uh, you know, I studied a lot from them. Right up to when I retired. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for talking to people, places, and events, and to the African Center for Community and Development. And I wish you, in many of this program, that your wonderful vision for Cameroon's football will reach out to the millions that are going to be watching it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for contributing a lot to Cameroon's football and for telling me about the history of Cameroon and its football. And I hope that through the venue of this program, your voice shall reach out to the millions that are going to be watching you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Benjamin, for contributing a lot uh, in football in Cameroon, and I hope you are going to do better in this administration to add uh, more design in goalkeeping in Cameroon and beyond. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Njiba, for your career well spent in entertaining Cameroonians and in adding value to our social life in Cameroon and to football. And I hope to the venue of this program, your wonderful contributions to football in Cameroon shall reach out to the millions in Africa and beyond. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Angeli, for contributing a lot to Cameroon and for contributing um, to people, places, and events and to the African Center for Community and Development. And I hope to the venue of this program, your wonderful vision for Cameroon's football will reach out to the world. Thank you Mr. John Tanipo for contributing a lot to goalkeeping and football in Cameroon. And I hope to the venue of this program, your wonderful vision can reach out to the world. Black Spider for contributing a lot to Cameroon football and I hope through the venue of this program the young shall learn from your immense talent and you shall contribute more to Cameroon's football. So be very interested in this point at my dance. too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these red lights on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.